This exhibition marks the 50th anniversary of a northern success story. James Houston was sent to Cape Dorset to help the, the community establish some ways of, of earning incomes. And that led to the birth of an inspiring new cottage industry. He and some of the, the men from the community were sitting around smoking one day and he passed his pack of cigarettes around. And one of the men said, how is it that the people in the South have so much time that they can draw on each package and get the picture the same? And that kind of got James Houston thinking about printmaking. The result was a print cooperative that made the community of Cape Dorset world famous. What the National Gallery has done is they have gathered together the first edition of prints that was made at the co-op in 1959 and then a selection of contemporary prints to show how the uh, printmaking industry in Cape Dorset has really changed. In the early days, prints were smaller and techniques experimental and the subject matter revealed a lifestyle wedded to the land. They represented the animal life uh, that was familiar to the people and uh, daily life of hunters and that sort of, sort of thing. In the contemporary prints, you see that contemporary life has, has gone on. So in the last 50 years in that community, there's, there's now television and internet and uh, snowmobiles and, and uh, quite a different lifestyle. But some of the artists still working today were there at the beginning. Probably the most famous would be Kanoyoak. And uh, Kanoyoak was a young woman uh, in 1959 when she started printmaking and she started creating images of birds that became very well known. Examples of her work are part of a large collection that was donated to the Red Deer Museum by Dr. Kathleen Swallow. In addition to the Uturati exhibition from the National Gallery, we have presented an exhibition of all of our prints from, the Cape, from Cape Dorset, all of the prints in our collection from, that, from the same region, and then some of the sculpture from Cape Dorset, and clothing and, and implements of daily life. In conjunction with these two exhibits, the national one and the local one, the museum is also presenting a number of programs and family activities on the theme of Inuit culture and lifestyle. Uh, we're presenting a program of talks by some of the people who have lived in the far north. Uh, we're also presenting a film program of films about the Arctic. Uh, and our Magnificent Saturdays all focus on, on uh, printmaking techniques and, and art techniques that, that, would, that you would see in Inuit art. The success of the Cape Dorset Printmaking Cooperative will be celebrated all afternoon on Family Day with the help of an artist in residence. Tim Pitsiolek will be here, so uh, that Family Day will be his first introduction to Red Deer, but then he will be here and uh, working away at his art and giving presentations for the next two weeks. It's a great opportunity to find out more about the art and artists involved in this remarkable venture. Patricia Smith, Shaw TV, Red Deer.